And welcome back to the Embedded Hobbyists Electronics Experimenters Kit Part 1 The Transistor Buffer. As, as get a pointer, my resistors 1k, there's a diode, 100 ohms, 470 ohms, 1k2. 10k, 10k, and two NPN transistors. And these, as you can see, are just sockets shorted out. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I thought we'd make up something that can be used for other parts of the kit. So we'll build it with this, and then later I'll assemble that onto a smaller board, and we'll use that for uh, parts of our experiments. So what are we going to do today? Well, I think we are going to do a buffer. Or you might say it's an inverter because a high on here will produce a low on there and the low on here will produce a voltage somewhere between five and ground because of the LED. And you've seen this in the previous video. This is going to be, you know, the this is going to be a display. So I would say it's a buffer display because it, the LED lights when the input is high, and of course the current is what's going to flow from five volts through a 10k resistor to ground to light the LED. So instead of passing the LED current, we're only going to pass current for 10k and of course that resistor could be a lot lower but uh, there's a reason for that that's just to save a bit of current right so using our parts what do we do well we want the 1k so there's my 1k resistor and just to show that it is a 1k resistor uh, I'll bring in the microscope and there we go 101 0805 resistor just soldered onto some broken tracks 1k on it and some header pins that's all it is so how are we going to do this well it's just going to be very simple we're just going to have plug in like that we'll take one of the longer ones plug it in there I oh, know we use a shorter one we use a shorter one plug that like that take the diode hopefully I'm gonna get it around the right way transistor this is all very much you know plug and play now the collector is at the point so there's the collector so we want somewhere to connect the bait the emitter to so there's a we can connect the emitter there. So positive there we need a way of connecting to the base that one there we'll use a 10k resistor we'll plug it on there and then we'll put one of these on the end so there we have it we have a 1k resistor So there is a 1k resistor, we have it there, there's our diode, there's our transistor, and there's our base resistor. So what do we need now? We need some power. So we'll bring in, be a bit fan noise now, because we'll bring in 5 volts, and it slides off. So uh, put something on there to stop it from flying around. Oh, I should have organised this earlier. Not the best example. We'll plug that in there. To plug into here. 
Now, when we connect this to high, now see, high, on, low, is off. I saw some of my lighting in here, but there we go. And if we bring voltmeter in, so we'll bring that down to where you can see it. This is this kit does need a little bit of uh, help. So anyway, maybe a box to put it on, but that will hold it there. Light is shining on it a bit too bright. How's that? A bit better. So now, if you bear with me, we can connect Oops, don't want that one. We want the black one down there. So five point three volts supply again 5.3 volts across the resistor because there's no current flowing now when I put it onto this side of the diode you'd expect some current to flow through the diode but until that diode has enough voltage across it to light it's a very high impedance so when we put it on here we're not going to see the full 5 volts because the meter has an, its own impedance which is lower than the impedance of the diode so it's forming a voltage divider and dragging it down the emitter we have nothing on the base now we have it hunting around and that's just mains pick up in my hand as the other video showed and then on the base this side it's hunting again because we got noise and pick up in my hand now if I put the base to high, we now have 5.3 volts on the input here. We have 5.3 volts on here. So we have current flowing in through the resistor and we have 0.7 of a volt VBE between the base and the emitter so that transistor is fully saturated the LED is on and the collector is very low 25 millivolts so that's fully saturated so this is part one transistor as a buffer or an inverter or as I'm going to say it's an indicator it's a buffer indicator and I'm going to put these resistors and the fa and the transistor on a small little PCB so that it can be used as a logic probe ready for other experiments well I hope if you enjoyed it you know click the subscribe button click on the bell if you want to see more of them and uh, I'll see you in experiment two